All right, I'm here to talk to you about probably the most important issue if you're shopping for a mattress. The most important issue. Most people aren't aware of it though. Why? It's because the industry is keeping it a secret from you. They don't want you to know about it. So let me tell you a little bit about myself, where I come from, what's my credentials for uh, making educational mattress videos, and how I've come to learn about things in the industry that they don't want you to know as a mattress shopper. The fact is you just can't go on the internet and Google, you know, what's the best mattress or what are the best mattress components without getting inundated with propaganda, sales pitch, uh, marketing. There's no third party, you know, uninterested party that can tell you the facts about what foams last longer, uh, are coils better than air and foam and all these things. So where I come from is I've been building, designing, servicing, and selling directly to the consumer mattresses for the last 30 years. And so I've learned a lot since then. And uh, I want to share with you, you know, the biggest thing you need to be concerned about today, which is soft spots. Soft spots are the number one complaint people have with mattresses. And it's intentional by large corporations, giant companies that kind of rule this industry. And it's, it's because... American companies and many other companies in the world are beholden to a philosophy called planned obsolescence. And a little bit about planned obsolescence, it's the idea of encouraging or nudging consumers to buy the products more frequently, replace their products they already have. And it started out kind of in the car industry, the automobile industry. And what they would do is they didn't just start making cars to break down. Uh, what they started to do is make cars that had different colors and features every year. And so they would tweak and they would innovate. And so they could offer the consumer something different, you know, in next year's model. This is what I consider to be a positive benefit. Um, but in a lot of industries like appliances and certainly in the mattress industry, what we're seeing is a uh, negative influence of trying to nudge people to replace their products. And they do it in a very insidious way that you, you will never know um, unless you watch this video. And so I learned about it because I buy foam from the companies that make foam. And uh, we were told about five or six years ago that polyurethane foam, which is makes up the vast majority of American mattresses, it's polyurethane foam. It doesn't matter if it's called a foam bed or a hybrid or whatever. If you cut it open, it's going to be filled with polyurethane foam. And there's a handful of companies that make polyurethane foam. And it's uh, typically not the mattress brands uh, that make polyurethane foam. They buy it from the companies that make foam. And so I also buy polyurethane foam. And we used to use a lot more of it because it used to be made a lot better. And it's a case of where things aren't built like they used to. You know, that cliche, it's definitely true with polyurethane foam. So we were told by our foam supplier about five or six years ago that the foams are intentionally made now to lose support 10 times faster than they lose height. And so what that means is that every single mattress warranty in the world covers basically one thing and that's sagging. Now sagging is a visual thing that's measured with a string and a tape measure. It's not very high tech. Anybody can do it. In fact, if you buy a mattress from a retailer, and you call and complain and tell them you have a sagging issue, they're probably going to make you do it yourself. They're going to want photographic evidence. And uh, so I'll show you how it's done. It's really simple. Here we have a string. And we're going to use this mattress as our example. This mattress, by the way, it's only eight months old. It's a mass-produced, big-name brand that you would definitely recognize. So it's only slept on for eight months by uh, a couple in their 90s. Very tiny people. They combined way probably less than I do. So they weren't heavy people at all. And they slept on it for eight months. They felt like something was wrong. They called the store they bought it from, they sent somebody out and they did this. They pulled a string over it and they measure the hole where the hole is always going to be. The most wear is always going to happen in the middle of the bed where your hips land. And as you can see here, when I pull the string, there really is no sagging at all. If you know, it's maybe a 16th of an inch, if that, and of course we can't measure the stitching. So these holes don't count. So we're measuring here and by every standard in the industry, every brand, doesn't matter what, what brand it is, this bed is not a warranty issue. Now, remember what I said earlier about 
how uh, foams today are designed intentionally to lose support 10 times faster than they lose height. Well, that's why. It's so that you don't ever have a legitimate warranty issue. But when you lay in the bed, you know there's something wrong. It doesn't feel right. And wear always happens in this part of our body. It's where roughly half our weight lands is in the hips area. So uh, for this particular mattress, this was about four years ago, and we had developed a, a system and we patented it for testing soft spots. And that's uh, something we invested a lot of money in. You can see on the video here, we actually have the machine back there, which I'm gonna go demonstrate after this. But it cost over $10,000 and this machine has one purpose only. It presses this metal plate down into a mattress or a chair or whatever, whatever you wanna test. And it'll tell you how firm that thing is. And it has about a 14 inch uh, diameter plate. And we, we tell the machine through the computer how much pressure to put on it. And it, it goes 90 pounds. So once it hits 90 pounds, it'll tell us how far it sank. And so when our plate presses down at 90 pounds of pressure, it tells us how far did 90 pounds sink. Now, the reason we use 90 pounds and not 80 or 50 or 100 is because the average American adult weighs about 180 pounds and roughly half our weight lands in this area. So when we lay in bed, we're putting a lot of pressure consistently in the hips area. And so if we rotate head to foot, well, we're still putting pressure in that area. So it is always the most used part of the mattress. And this is something we've learned, again, after making mattresses for 30 years, dealing directly with the end user. This is something your, your big companies won't do. Your Sealy, Serta, Simmons, Tempur-Pedic, you name it, they, they don't have connection to the consumer. The customer, the people who's actually using their product, aren't going to go there to their factory and say, hey, check out my bed. You know, what's wrong with it? Uh, that's something we do. We have as a factory direct, so our showroom and our factory are connected. We've got thousands and thousands and thousands of interactions with customers over the years, tens of thousands. And uh, so we, we know how what, what wears out in a mattress and what doesn't wear out. For example, we know that coils don't really wear out in uh, the first 20 years. They don't lose much. They don't lose height and they don't lose firmness. Foam, everything above the coils is the problem. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But to begin back to this particular mattress, this is an example of what you should be scared of if you go mattress shopping. You should be scared of something because it's your money and you want to not have regret later, like two years later or three years later. Because remember, there's no brand in the industry other than Comfort King that offers a soft spot warranty. We actually warranty against loss of support. Soft spots are losing support in your mattress. Okay, that's what they are. And you can't measure them with your hand because that's a matter of opinion. You can't measure by laying on it. Now you could feel it when you lay on it, but you can't go back to the store you bought it from or the website or whatever and say, hey, my bed feels saggy. Why don't you lay on it? And, and they're going to agree with you. It's just not going to happen. Uh, things have to be measured just like when you buy tires. You know, they have a specific warranty on your car that covers specific things or in a tire specific things. They don't just cover, you know, your, your feelings. And with mattresses, it's really all feeling based. If you think about it, if the bed doesn't feel good to you, you're just not happy with it. Well, we figured out a way and we, after much research and development, uh, we designed the soft spot testing system as a way to kind of like an MRI machine. It tells you what's really going on with your bed. And so we, we know that what's normal, what's not normal, anything below 20% is considered normal wear in a mattress. But if you lose more than 20% of your firmness, it's going to be in your hips area. And it might cause you back aches. It just won't feel good. You'll be sinking in too far, which is, is the reason why waterbeds proved to be a failure in the industry. So when we started 30 years ago, waterbeds were kind of at their peak and they were just starting to go down uh, as far as industry share. And many, many, many people slept on waterbeds and they were all getting out of them you know, in the middle 90s. And so the reason was mainly was because of back problems. Uh, they didn't support the spine very well. They allowed the hammocking effect where you're sinking in too far. So that's what we learned about, you know, comfort and support is you want to have a mattress that has support and comfort, but if your foam is sagging and breaking down, that's not going to give you the support you need. So what we found on this mattress, even though it looks perfectly fine, in fact, looks are the main thing. If you're buying, especially a higher end mattress, the bedding industry, and this is another little secret 
that no mattress salesman in the world will tell you because either they don't know or they just don't want you to know. But most mattresses today, whether they're a, a cheap mattress or a high-end mattress, they're going to be filled with the same kinds of foam. Uh, there might be some difference in like memory foams or something, but by and large, if you're buying a high-end mattress, all you're paying for is prettier fabrics. Uh, this one's a good example. It's a very nice fabric. And the tape edge, which is this, this fabric here that sews it together, closes the mattress, sews it up, which we do that here too. This is a very expensive tape edge. Look at the design. You got different threads. You got about four different colors going on there. This is what the industry prioritizes when they're designing higher end mattresses. So if you're a, a person who's got a little bit higher budget, maybe you want to spend more than two grand on a mattress or you're willing to, and you, you want to get really good quality, which look, if you can afford to buy better quality, whether it's at a car or a power tool or a house or a mattress, my belief as a consumer, because I buy things too, my belief is that you should get better quality. You should get longer life, more enjoyment, better quality materials, more exclusive materials, and not just fancy fabrics that get covered up their whole life because nobody cares how pretty your mattress is. Your, friend, your friends aren't going to be impressed. I mean, are you going to invite them over, take your sheets off and say, look how pretty my mattress is? No. You might do that with all the other furniture you own. You get a nice uh, couch. You get a nice dinette set. Uh, it's very visual. You're going to see it every day. Your friends are going to see it when they come over. You want to impress them. But with a mattress, it's the opposite. You don't really care what it looks like. What you care is how is it built? What's on the inside? How long is it going to last? Is it going to get soft spots? So what happened with this mattress when we tested it is as pretty as it still is, well, it's 42% softer in the hips area than it is down here at the foot area. So when we're comparing and testing a mattress for soft spots, we're going to compare the least used part to the most used part. And that's the least used part is going to be in the middle, side to side, down by where your feet are, or if this where your head was, your head doesn't really impact the mattress either, particularly if you use a pillow, which most people do. So this is going to be the most like new portion of the mattress. And this is definitely going to be the most used portion of the mattress. So as a consumer, you should know what's inside your mattress and what happens over the life of it, if it's got a 10-year warranty or a 15-year warranty or more, and anything over 15 is kind of make-believe anyway, but uh, whatever the so-called warranty covers, you need to ask them, does it cover loss of support, aka soft spots? And so uh, that's the story with this mattress. It's a, it's a sad tale, but it's very common. Uh, we see it all the time. Now, uh, I'm going to take you back there and show you how we test the mattress what the machine does, and some of the things you should look for. But before we go, you can see we've cut it open here. This is the problem with this mattress. And everything that you buy, you should know what you're getting, layer by layer. It's not complicated, uh, but they usually won't tell you, or they'll misinform you. The people who bought this were told it had memory foam in it, and it does. It's this little piece of foam way down here beneath all this foam. This is just cheap polyurethane foam. And this is definitely what you don't want in a mattress. And again, they, they make them really fat, really thick, and they look, look very pretty, but who cares what it looks like? You care what it's made out of. So let's go back in the factory, and I'm going to demonstrate for you what the soft spot testing machine does. Okay, we're in an actual mattress factory now, and this is where every single Comfort King mattress is built by our staff, our mattress builders. That's where we're at right now. We've got a couple mattresses in production, one of them being uh, tape edge there and over here we've got our soft spot testing machine which is what i'm going to talk about this is a machine that we purchased from a company called admet admet specializes in making machines that test things in this case this machine has one purpose it tests the firmness of something and so different industries will use these machines including the mattress industry uh, maybe the airline industry the car industry to test you know their uh, tolerances for people sitting on them, for example. And so we purchased this machine after many years of, of hearing about it, knowing about it, but mainly I purchased it for using it in helping our customers to get a better night's sleep because we invented the lifetime comfort guarantee back in 1996. And that's opened up kind of a two-way relationship with our customers over the life of the mattress, which is uh, 10 to 15 years. If they don't like the way it feels or maybe their back hurts or something in their life changed, 
we can adjust their mattress. So that's, that's how we got here is by doing thousands of comfort adjustments. And um, the vast majority of the work we do after the sale, the service work that we do is not actually warranty related. It's comfort related. And that's because the human body is very complicated and sleep is very complicated. It can be very difficult for folks to get. Uh, we all need about eight hours of quality sleep every night. That's how we're built. That's what our bodies and brains need to function properly. And the mattress can play a role in it. But uh, what we found is oftentimes um, people will think their mattress is the reason they're not sleeping well. And so they'll, they'll just insist that the mattress is giving them problems. And so we would run into the case where we get a mattress in here in our factory, we put it on the table, and we'd analyze it the way everyone else does, which is visually. We'd look at it, maybe we'd even lay on it and try to find what the customer's feeling. And so after years and years of, of doing this and realizing that our mattresses are really holding up quite well, but we don't know how, you know, how to prove how it feels, what the support factor is, that we decide to invest in this machinery. So this machine will tell us objectively, without any bias or anybody's opinion, how far 90 pounds sinks in. And so what we've got is a mock-up here of one of our models. And uh, as you can see, it consists of a pocketed coil system, eight inches tall. This is your main support. Then we've got a mini coil system, about two and a half inches tall. This is for comfort. And then we've got a quilted cover. So you won't see any layers of polyurethane foam in here. I'm just gonna demonstrate uh, how this machine operates. So what we do is we get it into position here and then we hit start. And what's happening now is the plate starting to press down and we got a load here. Uh, we're at 10 pounds, 12 pounds, and then it's measuring the distance that it's sinking in. Now we're going up to 25 pounds. Eventually it's gonna work its way up to 90 pounds. Once it hits 90 pounds of pressure, it'll tell us how many inches it sank. Right now, we're getting up to one inch. It's going to require 40 pounds of pressure, roughly. So getting back to here, you can see uh, the machine operating. It goes very slow, and uh, it's going to give us an accurate read of what this bed feels like. Now, I mentioned that we use it for testing Comfort King mattresses. We've also tested all the other brands that are on the market. Um, we want to test them for abnormal wear. We also use it for brand new models so we can get an accuracy of the firmness, so we can get a firmness rating. So our, uh, it's really helpful when people are buying a new mattress to kind of get an idea how firm the bed is, and you do that by laying on it. But we also have a scale that will tell you objectively how firm a bed is. So as this machine is operating, uh, we just wanted to show you, you know, how we test for soft spots. Also wanted to show you why our mattresses can have a soft spot warranty where we guarantee that you'll never lose more than 20% of the support. And we can measure that objectively. Now we patented that system. So uh, we know that there are companies out there that have copied us in the past for the innovations that we've done from you know, putting zippers in beds to the lifetime comfort guarantee, to many other things. But in this case, no one else can offer a soft spot warranty because I hold the patent on it. And again, the reason that we can offer that, the thing that you should be most concerned about when you go mattress shopping is we don't fill our beds with polyurethane foam. Polyurethane foam is the weak link in the mattress. Now, I thank you for watching this video. I plan on making more. And um, the sole purpose of these videos is to educate any consumer, whether you live in our market or you live anywhere in the world, doesn't really matter to me. I'm not trying to just sell you something. I want to help you so that you're an educated consumer. And after 30 years in this industry, I can tell you, there's not a lot of companies that are looking out for you. Most mattresses are built by huge corporations where the profit is the number one concern they have. They don't care what you, if you like their product in five years, uh, they don't care about the things you care about. At Comfort King, we do. So I appreciate you watching and uh, hopefully you'll see some more videos coming in the future. Thanks.